class i try to discuss about some short notes from chapter 4 fundamentals of report writing let's go ahead in today's lecture i will also try to discuss about some topics from chapter 4 fundamentals of report writing which which will help you to answer the questions from B and C section in the board exam. After completing this lecture, you have clear idea about this topic, such as essential qualities or characteristics of a good report, purpose or objectives of a good report, disadvantages or limitations of business report, qualities of a successful reporter, and the last topic is differences between formal and informal report. Our first topic is essential qualities of a good report. There are different types of essential qualities of a good report. So, number one is impersonal presentation. The reporter should maintain neutrality when he prepares a report. Factual information, personal opinion or imaginary information has no place in the report content. Specific content, a report should have a title, table of contents and recommendations. Orderly presentation, subject matter of the report is presented in sequential orders. Well planned, a report is well planned. Upward direction. A report moves from lower levels to upper level because it is prepared by subordinate and submitted to superiors. Simplicity. Simple sentence should be used and complex sentence should be avoided. Conciseness. The business report should be brief in nature. Unnecessary information should be avoided. Completeness. Incomplete information may hamper company image and goodwill. And the last essential quality of the good report is clear. The subject matter of the report must be clear. Our second topic is purpose or objectives of a good report. So, the objectives of good reports are as follows. Number one, to investigate. One of the important purposes of the report is to investigate any occurrence or incident and to find out the actual reasons. To inform, it carries information from one person to another. To analyze, business report is that managerial tool which can analyze this problem. To assist in decision making, decision cannot be made without proper information which is available from a good report. To give recommendation about any important issue or problem. To solve problem. A good report helps to solve the problem arises in the organization. To promote goodwill. Reports can play vital role in promoting goodwill of the firm. To obtain new business. Business reports have significant role in obtaining new business. To neutral investigation, to provide neutral investigation which is free from biasness. And the last purpose of a good report is to evaluation, to evaluate the individual's performance within the organization. Our next topic is disadvantages or limitations of business report. The limitations of reports can be stated as under follows. Number one. Report take must time to be prepared. Number two, communication through reports is more costly than those of other means. Number three, sometimes it loses impartiality. Number four, formal report easily become long. Number five, sometimes report are submitted incompletely. And the last limitation is it cannot help in decision making promptly. Our fourth topic is qualities of a successful reporter. There are different types of essential qualities of a successful reporter. So the first quality of a successful reporter is academic knowledge. A reporter must have sufficient educational qualification so that 
he can work effectively and efficiently. Number two, skills experience. The reporter should have the minimum skills and experience of writing a report. Sharp intelligence. The reporter should have sharp intelligence. General knowledge. The reporter must have adequate general knowledge to realize the happenings related to the reports. Impartiality. He should be natural, sorry, neutral in drafting report. Knowledge over grammar. The reporter must have the knowledge over grammar and language. Ability to collect and analyze the report. The reporter should have proper knowledge on obtaining, processing and analyzing data. Knowledge about computer operation. The knowledge of the computer operation can help the reporter to write a good report. In this section, I will also try to discuss about other human qualities of a good reporter. Number one, he must be confident. Number two, he must have patience. Number three, he should have the organizing capacity. Number four, he should be honest and faithful. And number five, he must be punctual and uh, economic. Our last topic is differences between formal and informal reports. In the right section, I will try to discuss about the informal report and in the left section, I will try to discuss about the formal report which represent the differences between formal and informal report. So in formal reports, it helps to management in making long-term and strategic decision. It is written by experts or executives. It is long in size. It circulates top-level executives and outside parties. It writes very infrequently. And the last difference is it has a great importance in business organization. In this section, informal report held to manager in making day, two day and short-term business decision. It is written by subordinates. It is short in size. It circulates within the organization. It writes very frequently, even daily or weekly. And the last difference is it is less important in business organization.